this video I'm going to demonstrate how to replace a power supply that's used in all Galaxy displays at Dactronics. The tools that you'll need will be an 8th inch T-handle or 8th inch Allen wrench and a Phillips head screwdriver. To begin you'll want to remove the module directly in front of the power supply. Once you've unlatched the module, go ahead and disconnect both the signal and power cables from that module and completely remove it from the display. It's very important not to allow a module to hang by its ribbon and power cables because that could cause other damage. Now it may be necessary to go ahead and remove another module below the power supply and I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Now that I've got both of my modules removed and I've got easy access to my power supply, I can begin with disconnecting the power cables. I'll also want to disconnect the 120 volt input, which is actually coming from the other power supply in the chain. Now that I've got all my cables disconnected, I can use a Phillips head screwdriver to loosen the screw at the top of the power supply. It's not necessary to completely remove the screw. Now that it's loosened, I can easily just lift it up off of its brackets and carefully through the face of the display. Now that I've removed the power supply that needs to be replaced, I can proceed with installing the replacement power supply. Just simply feed the cables through the module opening and then hook the power supply back onto its bracket. Take your Phillips head screwdriver and then tighten the set screw. And now you're ready to begin reconnecting the power cables. There's probably four power cables coming off of there. It doesn't matter which harness plugs into which connector. They just need to all be connected. Now that I've got all my power harnessing reconnected, I can begin reinserting the modules. When reinserting the module, make sure you get all the cables tucked neatly back inside so that they don't get pinched by the module when it's placed against the face sheet. Use your 8 inch T-handle to fully latch the module and then run your hand over the face of the display to make sure the module louvers aren't protruding and that'll tell you that that module is fully seated. Now your display is back up and operational.